Thanks. Uh, today's talk would be... Ah, now people are getting in. Should be about... Well, everything about probation, which usually students ask me and from time to time have issues. Uh, I would like to make a video call with all of you so we, where we can discuss about these issues, which are in fact something between official program and interpretation of how much people feel about that program. Uh, I would like to start with my own life. And the most important question of all questions before somebody enter organizations, relationship, anything to do with together idea. And that is a question of motive. Well, as far as I remember myself, I was always attracted to the idea of spiritual. Occultism, esoteric, hermetism, call it whatever you like. But there is no year or period of my life where I didn't been aware of that spirituality in me. And the first question when somebody approach me and ask me about the AA, Telema, magic, mysticism, I always ask him, what is your motive? Do you feel to, to be like to research history, sociology, or to feel powerful that you are in maybe Freemasonic Lodge or something else? And I like when students don't have answer because a rational explanation and uh, answer as soon as they shoot up, shoot up the question about the motive will show that there is a limitation. But when student ask me or reply to me, I don't know about my motive, but this is how I feel simply. For me, it's the best answer. So, each student, or better to say, each aspirant should ask himself or herself all along the way, either if you are student, probationer, or maybe much deeper in the order, about your true motives. Do you want just to do something so you can fix your free time or enlightenment or something that you are not capable to rationalize it's moving the urge the urge toward paranormal or urge toward selfhood the angel enlightenment it's the greatest urge we have in the a you know the feeling, sorry, you know the feeling when no matter how much you are late for some meeting, when you run across the occult bookstore, there is no way you cannot stop and see the books. And even if you are know that you will be more late, you will get inside of the bookstore to see if there is some new rare occult book this kind of urge it's something which i feel inside me from the first day that i remember myself that i invest in research of the occultism until now uh, the whole program of the aa it's not like any university or the system because in each ending of system you have very precise and clear thought about that end if you f maybe sign university about the law then you have projection that you will be lawyer 
or judge or you understand me but the AA have two most crucial and absurd ending which is the knowledge and conversation of the holy guardian angel and crossing the abyss and if you ask anybody from the AA which by the man by the by the way the meaning it's not clear itself like the system of the AA want to darken your water to put the mud on your face so actually you don't know where you are going the concept of the holy guardian angel is the first of all the name of attainment it's so critical even to speak the knowledge and conversation with the holy guardian angel but if you are very clever to see what is going on in that sentence you will see the knowledge and conversation if i talking to you and you are listening to me if you want to get um, information about what i'm talking then you need to listen if i want to teach you then it is me who is speaking but what kind of the lesson you will get with the angel if you are doing the talk because the knowledge and conversation so there is only one way you can talk and get the knowledge in the same time when you talk with yourself now the whole concept of what we are calling Abramelian operation and what in fact should be your primary motive in the AA it's quite absurd meaning which is in fact a mind fuck question it's not a level of grade or achievement achievement which it's very logical like doing with asana pranayama even the lucid dreaming and astral projection have methodology and precise way of how you can evaluate your advancement but in the level of the knowledge and conversation of the holy guardian angel there is no way you can be more closer or further from that accomplishment the whole point of abramelian operation or advancement toward is that we are only thinking that we will be closer as time goes by because the rational concept of learning is the more you play the instrument the better you sound which is quite the contrary of the approach of the holy guardian angel well it is like something which is precisely between me and you now no matter how much that you think there is empty space be between your monitor where my picture is lying up now and yourself there is one thing which constantly attacks your mind and that is your nose your whole life the nose is interrupting and eating your visual field but you are never put attention because if you do you will become mad from so much craziness that there is something in your visual field your mind it's putting away from the perception of the nose so you can forget about it and focus on something else now the concept of angel it's not something maybe which is further away from you the 
concept of the angel, it's just like the nose. You don't need to have more of that nose. You need to have less. You need to have lesser so your attention and mind can perceive it. You don't need to repeat procedures, practices. You need something much more clever because procedures and meditations and the rituals and the rites are exactly the nose before the truth which is right before you. You need something which will stop that program so you can see something which is already before you, but you are perceiving and focusing on some other aspects in your life. Probationer don't have answers how to stop that program. I think nobody has. <laughs> Uh, only personal experience during the great work can show you that. It can show you the patterns of your own mechanism so you can stop it. But there is no universal way how to do that. Even Abramelin operation. Students usually think that a repetition of practices during the six or nine months depends what you want to which book you want to listen it's not meaning that each day you are closer and closer to the angel quite the contrary you are more further away and your mind it will sooner or later realize what is the mechanism of the knowledge and conversation this is just an introductionary because I like to talk about personal experience and how I do things, how I think about things, how I'm doing with my students and how I did when I was student with my superior. No matter how I'm wrong or right, I think the best experience is personal experience. When you are not repeating something which you read, but what you did. Uh, sorry, people are, I don't, so much people. The first and most important issue, it's choosing the magical name or what we are calling this magical motto. There is two way, two different strategy of choosing the right motto. Now, please forget about choosing the God or Goddess's name or Archangel or demons. There is completely different way of how you need to approach this issue. The first issue is to choose something you want to become. If you want to attract some archetypes, which for you, it's more closer to the idea of your great work. Idea of light, sun, truth, strength, courage, everything which usually people give names to their own children, like wolf, or something which they need to give the power to the children so they will be uh, free from any evil. Hey, sorry, I think I, I, I get lost. I hope I didn't talk all this time. <laughs> so uh, I think we stop uh, choosing the magical motto. I think we, we speak about it. Ah, sorry, sorry. Just... Sorry. I hope now you can hear me. Sorry. I, I'm, I'm awful with this technical stuff. No matter how much uh, I think I know, something is always happening. So, choosing the magical motto. The first thing is to give yourself a motto of which you are expecting to be. 
The second strategy is a far more interesting. You are giving yourself the name or the force which you already have. Like you are proud to be stupid or proud with your little penis. Whatever it is little or short, you are proud of it. And you are not putting the accent about something which you want to be. You are putting the accent about actuality, what is already happening, which is in fact like the great work itself. Accent on the present, not on the future, not on the projection. I don't want to talk uh, that the first or the second strategy is the better. But think about these two approaches. Don't just take the name of the God thinking that your great work will be easier. No, your great work is already achieved. But you will never be able to realize it because the you is the part of yourself who will never reach that attainment. You will lose it during the way. So, try, when you choose that name, that name can also be the number, can be emotion, can be idea, can be one sentence, not only a word, but sentence. Uh, try to think about this as a concept of your movie. Your movie and your great work is a cinema, is a movie. Now give a cinema a name. Give your blockbuster, your movie, a good name. This strategy is good for the AA. For about magical motto, always think how it change during your one year of advancement. Is it change and in which level? If you choose Archangel of the Sun, how this sun change during that one year? Is it become brighter or maybe weaker? Is it changing the radiance, the color, having the planets, having the life, or maybe losing the life, losing the light, going into the dark, like Kefra, as in the sun beetle going through the midnight? Always think what changed, in which level. We will talk about it later when you choose your practice. Uh, try to see that during the one year of your probation, the name and the magical motto is born. And it will last from the first day of your probation and it will die by the last day of your probation and by the beginning of the ritual of the pyramid. There is no ending of probation. Probationer, it's for one year. Probation, it's the, for the whole life. Your whole life, it's in fact the ritual for your great work. Always try to approach the AA questions in, in merely natural, psychological way. Try to be probationer not only when you are doing the ritual, but outside on the street, on your job, when you talk with the boss, when you get up early in the morning, very nervous, very, very sad, very hatefulness, in a city rush, try to expand 
and to really be probationer for 365 days. The point of probation, it's from the beginning and until the end of the sun returns. You're returning from the exactly the same point. Like any other grade in the AA, which are linear and vector toward attainment, there is nothing for a probationer to attain, except to survive, to hold on. Like Spartans hold Persians, hold and live each day after day. Now, it is most important to realize that you don't need to put accent on your practition. Just repeat them day by day. There is a two approach in probation. The first superior give to their students a lot of practices. So your life will be in diversity. Sometimes you can do this and do that. Then you are writing about in your diary. And, you know, when you have a lot of girls during the summer, the summer it's great. But if you have one wife in your life, only one wife, it can be nice, but it can be bored. You need to choose well. Attainment when you choose one practice and nothing except that will attack your sense of boredom, attack your urge to continue. The flame and the heat, the temperature of your work will be much higher and the price will be better. If you ask me, don't do anything else except the practice. Don't change the practice. Don't change the way you are doing, even if you are doing totally wrong. If you start to doing it wrong, then the right probation would be doing it wrong for 365 times. Your mind will tell you, soon you will find, read in some books, sorry, that precise way of vibration, it's some, some other way, etc., etc. Don't listen to that change. Don't change the way of practice. It is like the army. You go, you count the days and you return. You will see that the quality of the change of your spiritual selfhood lie in this monotonic quantity repeating. And you will change yourself automatically while doing quantity without will for quality, which is in fact the essence of all other grades. For about the practice, uh, there is my suggestion, my strong suggestion. Please, if you are superior, never give student practice for themselves. Let them choose their own practice, which they will repeat during their probation. Also, never ask your superior to give the practice to yourself. Choosing the practice in the AA for a probationer, it's in fact your first uh, try of great work. 
you are choosing the practice you are choosing something which you feel that it is good for you it is the nickname of your angel and if you follow this kind of attitude maybe you can achieve the knowledge and conversation there is no difference between these two things probationer and adept if you are watch carefully have the same robe the same clothes of course the adept it's has very little difference but the essence of the robe of the cloth of probationer and the cloth of adept minor is the same now when you think about the practice you will see that both probationer and uh, adeptus minor has totally the same attitude toward the practice which will lead to great work how's that probationer choose the practice which he will repeat one year without any quality without any thinking without any delay repeat like you are in prison counting the days until you will be free adeptus minor perform one ritual but not in one year until he got attainment until he attained the great work the same concept of repeating but probationer has only one year because for his mind his level of realization his sun his finish orbiting and the cycle it's over he cannot understand what further it is more than this one year from the level of adeptus minor there is no orbiting around the circle than the orbiting around of itself in the level of probationer it is a question of uh, a revolution the earth it's going around the sun but from the level of adept it is the earth orbiting around itself having another moons and another things around itself so the question of time it's important for distinguishing the probationer when he repeat the practice but only one year and the adeptus minor which will repeat practices for everlastingly long time until he get enlightenment you will see the bodhisattva oath and the oath of the buddha when he sit under the uh, the the tea tree saying that i will not move from this place until i get enlightenment so probationer is doing whatever he can so he can fulfill that oath about time but his time it's not spreading more than this one year he would like to but there is no chance because his mind it's simply in level of understanding of limitation of his world the adept liberate himself in space and time and he choose to repeat even until his death until he reach the knowledge and conversation of the holy guardian angel the knowledge and conversation it's the main urge which need you to move through the probation and through all the other grades without that you will reach 
a grade or two or three, but sooner or later you will stop. Like in gym, there are people who are going to gym so they can have a healthy body, so they can pump the muscles and everything else, but sooner or later they will stop going to the gym. But if you choose the gym because you want to have a body which will which will move you through the life more easily so you can adopt healthy life per se then you will go as long as you need there will be no saturation in your mind which will say dushan stop this this is nonsense this is totally nonsense you don't need to do that and your mind will give you this moment sooner or later in the AA. Uh, for about the practices, there is my deeply suggestion, please take something which is not too much for time, so it will not eat a lot of your time for performance, something around maybe five to ten minutes. Everything more or less than that will not cause any temperature to be hit. Uh, if you are performing a ritual which lasts for one hour, then the main question, what do you want to achieve? Do you want to be professional occultist or do you want to go to dramatic university? No. You need something which will ping your mind, spin your thought, very, very short, but long enough so you can have meaning during your one year that you need to do something. This something needs to be five to ten minutes, like short meeting, sweet short meeting or maybe a snack not meal because when you eat meal your stomach can get hurt but if you have snack you will say goodbye to your hunger and you will spare a time because for snack you need only a few minutes so choose a snack for your time in the AA choose something which is a bit short not too much let us say something like a ritual of pentagram, maybe the middle pillar, uh, star rubai, and everything like this, some energetic work. My, uh, med you can choose some adorations like liber resh. Liber resh is ex excellent because you are not doing only once per day, but four times but in very small quantity so your time will be much more closer to the knowledge of your great work dividing a time but bombing with very little attentions uh, it is up to you but my suggestion please don't make too much of it just choose and repeat there is no accent if you are choosing the right practice. No, there is only a statement if you are doing it correctly. Once per day with the writing in your diary, 365 times per year. That's it. Don't achieve anything. Even if you achieve the great work itself, you need to achieving it every day during your uh, your one year that would be a compliance of probation but if you achieve only once even you will say i am adeptus you will not reach the end of your probation because you need to repeat that 365 days your mind will choose so different level of avoiding and sabotaging yourself 
thinking that maybe this is all bullshit, maybe you will read something more clever so you can skip your probation, maybe you will read that in those times people not not doing the probation like you, then you need to change and to adopt so you can do the right thing. Watch yourself from that thoughts. Your mind will use you against you because he will know that by the end of that path is the light. Something which your mind don't, does not want because it afraid him for that light. He don't know what is inside of that eternal light. For your mind, for your ego, enlightenment, it's like death. There is seizing of that mind in enlightenment because your mind don't know if he will stop to have a meaning. And that is why he will do everything. Like good old mother to say, Oh, Dushan, please, don't go outside. There are criminals there. And there are crazy girls who want to rob you and to took all money from you. There is a drug and alcohol. Be with myself. Be with your mother inside of my house. This is your mind wanted for you to be secure and safe. You need to go outside of that circle of trust, of that comfort zone. And this is only possible if you are like dog, very stupidly follow the rules, which is repeat the practice, write about the practice and get another day more or another day less because you are losing losing more and more time about the diary very important question now this is my diary some 20 more than 20 years ago phil you know you see and i did a lot of mistake especially here you see the mistake in the end i the, the error with the dates and never leave writing for the later the most major mistakes you can do not only during the probation but especially in the astral projection and lucid dreaming uh, uh, recordings because when experience it's clear in one moment even if you will thinking that you will uh, have knowledge about this for the rest of your life, only a few seconds later or few minutes, it will be totally forgotten. Uh, the question of writing as soon as you finish is a crucial because the practice, it's not only from the first until the last second of performance no the practice ends by uh, writing in in the journal this is the end of the practice when you write that you finish it even if you don't have any comments my students ask me but what to write in the diary if I don't feel anything start to write I don't feel anything I'm stupid. I, I think that I did everything and I don't feel anything. And you will see that in that moment you will start to sense something. And you will write about it and then you will say, oh, but I remember some period of my life when I was a child. Write it. And you will see how the movie it starts to grow. But you need to start to write a screenplay. No matter how much you think there is nothing, write that nothing. Writing about nothing is something. And after something, there can be something else and more. And 
even now I'm starting to speak and the ideas start bombing my mind. Uh, when you write your practice, there is a catch. You can write in the first level, uh, in the first, how to say, first tense, I. I perform the ritual. But try to write in the second, uh, second view, I don't know in English how to say, Dushan. Dushan performed the ritual. He seemed very sleepy and the vibration he did was very remarkable. Then write in a third tense. Uh, he. And then you can see that writing about the same right from another perspective will give you some other results. Uh, some another aspect of the knowledge when you're writing about yourself as him or her. Depends if you are male or female. Try to play with uh, the journal. Try to put uh, a color about your practice. Is it blue or green? Or you feel it is a little bit more orange. Why is that? Write all this in your diary. You see how much level of thinking was about the, the right, which is very simple, five minutes and that's it. In fact, writing about your probation only begins with your practice. It is like the cogwheel, which will release the mechanism of your selfhood. Once, when you reach the grade of Philosophus er, or even Dominus Liminis, reading the uh, diary of your probation will reveal a final clue toward the great work. Uh, you will be amazed that reading about your level of thinking, no matter how you will feel stupid because this was 20 years ago and I was, uh, I was crying because my girlfriend left me and so on. You will see that there is a same you behind these pages as the same you who is performing the ritual now. That same you is the same great work hidden even now, in this moment, as I speak to you, but you are not aware of it. Writing each and every important thing in your diary, for me, it's the most valuable uh, grade weapon of all. Constructing your cup, pentacle, wand and dagger it's just a merely and slightly uh, reminds of what your word is powerful or even your memory. Later you will see one astonishing fact that becoming an adeptus minor is impossible. But remembering that you was adeptus minor is achievable. You don't need to become a child. Or you need to become a child. You don't need to stay child. This is the different mechanism of your mind remembering one thing which we just call the great work. But it is just an idea abstract idea which don't mean anything to your ego. Why? Because if he knew what it is, he will destroy it as a path toward the sun, the place where it can be destroyed. It is like the hidden map so you can leave the prison, 
but you forget where you put it inside of that prison. There is a map, but you forget where it is. You don't need to construct the whole map from the start. The only thing you need to do is to remember where you put it. This is what you are experience in the grade because we all knew that you already knew what I want to speak. This moment you experiencing all over again. Not in the level of reincarnation, but in the level of the selfhood, which always exists outside of circles of time. This is exactly why Adept Minor doing practices until he achieve great work. Because he will never achieve the great work while doing the practices. Because the practice will not bring him to the great work. Practice is just an idea, like everything until now is for your mind. So you cannot see the spark of the light which don't have your attention. The great work is already achieved, but you are not the one who needs to achieve it. There is a trick question. I always finish speaking about the great work. I am professor and uh, when we professor talk too much about things, we start to talk everything about the things we need to speak. So sorry about <laughs> this. This is my old behavior to speak uh, something which is not a part of a talk, but you will see that probably for the probation, the talk and thinking about the guardian angel no matter how abstract, needs to give you a fresh emotional push, like energy. Like when you see the movie, no matter how stupid the movie is, it, it is action. And when you feel horny, you know, like a little child, then it will be a good movie. You need to, uh, to change your probation in a level to push fresh energy because you will be pretty much bored in your one year. You need that fresh energy to move this repetition of exercise 365 times per year. Uh, for about repetition of the chapter, which usually it's the most devastating things in the life of the future neophyte, no matter how much they are perfect, and you will see that when you become a neophyte, having your own probation, probationer. Uh, there is only one important question student will ask you ever. And that is, what it will be if I mistake repetition of the chapter of the holy book? Will I fall exam or will I need to finish again my one year? Of course, you can play with them and saying, of course, you need to be, every word need to be precise. If you mistake one word, then you need to have another one here. Sometimes this emotional push is good for them, so their attention can be increased. Somebody, this will make their life miserable, so you need to choose well, about the psychology of your, uh, of your student, so not to shake them too much, so they can awake. They need to be in a sleepy state, so the dream world where the angel is, to be close to them. Not so much far, but too much close. Uh, for about that issue, first of all, please don't uh, teach yourself to repeat the chapter only one month before the ending. Do this during the whole probation. 
even if you know by memory the whole chapter from beginning until the end reverse the situation try to repeat from the end toward the beginning you will see how difficult or start by random uh, verse don't speak each time from the beginning because your mind will accustom to repeat the line from zero until the end and if you make mistake your mind will be totally confused you need to avoid this error so you can just put your finger and start from the middle without preparing instantly try to visualize the whole chapter without the words try to put as a script as a visualization of one process but don't skip any verse let each verse be some object some color some actor in your movie and you are director of that movie now you need to close your eyes and meditate passing the all verses but not by words by emotions by colors but whatever you want try to change the way you repeat the knowledge about that chapter the words and the memorization is just one aspect of the teaching try not to be too much too much a conservative uh, try try to simply put your own silent movie imagine you know the black and white movies without any words build that from your holy books from that chapter you will see how difficult it is especially when there is a part when aspirants speak try not to hear the words but emotions which are behind it try to play with that kind of memorization and you will see that this play will transform the energy of your probation into a game every play and every game will bring so better sense and feelings instead of repetition which don't have meaning no matter how your mind is good um, parroquet repeating like the bird will depends on your mood and you will one day you will have perfectly memorization and repetition but the other day you will be nervous get yourself on the left leg and you will not be able to do anything don't do that don't um, seek perfect outcomes so you can repeat the chapter but if the sunny the sun is on the, the the horizon and everything is perfect no you need to repeat it in all circumstances you need to have knowledge about it in the good and in the bad things now about the ritual of the pyramid mostly people seek technical advices how to whip themselves uh, in which part of the circle to have speakings in which way they are orbiting in the circle it is all irrelevant for me in my experience i did it without any uh, technical thinking i do it totally in my way uh, things which i didn't have i imagined and i played like like it was the last thing on the earth liber pyramidus should be imagine that you are doing it and there is no tomorrow how you will do it 
will you depend on the words and the knowledge what it is even if you have knowledge imagine that tomorrow you will die and there is no life after the ritual and you will see how much change in performance your mind will give whenever and however you perform your practice always try to perform like there is no nothing after that it will be the thing after you will die so how you will perform that how you will perform ritual of pentagram will you just say before me it's michael um, around me are pentagram and that's it no 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 you will do something different you will change your awareness so ask yourself why don't you repeat that kind of performance whatever you perform just say to yourself ah this is my last day on earth now i will perform my last ritual and your mind and your being will instantly and flame yourself with a totally different kind of fuel of of energy of awareness and the end will be much much better so you see technicality and precise knowledge what is inside the ritual it's one thing but what you want to achieve with that ritual is another if you forget everything about the ritual during the ritual ritual will give you what it should give you but if you already are obsessed with the perfect uh, trajectory perfect saying like if you want to record a perfect uh, movie then you will never be able to achieve what it means imagine that you are making love with your angel and using a dildo as your ritual for masturbating your soul with it how you will do that strong or maybe polite subtle maybe in a harsh way you need to do that for the love's sake because in the end instead of orgasm you need to experience the great work itself the shape and the color of dildo or the name of your girl it's totally irrelevant if you feel love and attraction toward her because your orgasm and your climax will be totally the same no matter if your girl is from another country even if your if your girl don't know how to speak your language because the language of love it's the same this is the precisely how you need to perform ritual of course you can investigate research see a different level of doing but once you start the ritual there is no thinking like i'm professor of music no matter how much i prepare from the concert if i don't know how to improvise i will never be able to get uh, nice feelings as i am playing maybe you will have but i will not be enjoyable I need to improvise to forget all the forms and not to be slave of technicality this is the correct way of inflaming yourself with the prayer so this is all how to say a little things inside each probation which can be which can be good uh, 
I don't uh, want to speak about the precise way of historical how things were or should be. I'm just speaking in a level that I did. And some of my students did the same and have some results. Never understand your superior as guru or teacher. And please don't take your students as a brat. Spoiled children. No. We are not in the level of teaching, but associating. Superior is not there to show you where your hidden map from the prison. He just needs to help you, to push you, so you can jump from the wall and you can leave your prison. He needs to be accomplice in the criminal act with you. So, if you fall to the police, he will fall. If police catch him, then you are ruined also. You need to act as a team. But, in the same way, going in your own path, both you and your superior. Don't ask from superior to be in charge. Don't project your neurosis on him. Fears, hopes, understanding, wisdom comes from you. From him is just a witnessing of that act. When I was little, when I come to my mother because the girlfriend from the lower school left me, I cried and I cried and my mother asked me, Dushan, what was it? What was it? When I say, no, don't, don't ask me. I want to kill myself. This life don't have any meaning. But what is going on? Dushan, tell me. I lose a faith in love. I was maybe 11 years old. And my mother said to me, my dear, this is not love. She recognized the pattern in me, knowing that this is not love. The same mechanism the superior will see what is inside of you. Don't need to tell you that is it precise, it is good technique, performance. No, he needs to see you if you are in love. The only way he can see that is if he pass the same experience earlier. If he has the same love affair earlier in his own life, in his own grade. So he can say, yeah, yeah, Dushan, that's it. You failed. You didn't do the work, but you pass the test. Or likewise, you did everything perfect. Your exam, your memorization of the chapter, even the practices was perfect. But I think you need to fail. Of course, this second is quite uh, impossible in, in, in most cases, but it is not so much technicality impossible because he needs to see the process of attainment inside you. Because you can lie. You can write this shit and just give him in the end of the one year and he can say, yes, you passed. Are you? What is the essence of this one year. What you can tell from your own son or daughter about their puberty. How they can get out of their child timing. You need to see that they are not longer the same puberty spoiled rat. That they learn something. We just say learn. They experience and they change the level of their 
years. They transcend the years not by numbers but by experience. This is the ending of probation. Because probation one day earlier before he passed the ritual of the pyramid or Liber Pyramidus is a neophyte because it is one day earlier? No. He is the same probation like in the beginning. Your mind thinks that you are more closer because only one day left. No. You need quality transcendence, which is ritual of the pyramid, which, by the way, will be performed in, in, in failure. Because if performed properly, then it will give you a knowledge and conversation. The pyramid is constructed so it can give you the boat, giving the taste of the woman, but not giving the woman. Something like that. So, there is a lot of issues in probation, the beginning, the middle, the end. You, you can have in your life a lot of different occurrence going on. You can lose a job. You can lose a wife. You can lose your friends. So, it is a perfect time to really think what else you can lose so you need to gain in the end. Are you losing a real friend or just losing the right people who are not your friend? Sometimes you need to lose something so you can get. You will be very horrible if your boss give you on quitting the job. But maybe you need that. Maybe you need time for yourself. Because you ask your angel for time so you can finish your probation. Now you have your time. Sometimes our selfhood is like child, giving us exactly what we wanted in a twisted way. You always need to think, is it you who in fact choose this different kind of destiny so you can achieve something which you deserve? How much this job, wife, or maybe even life, is yours at all? Maybe it is exactly between you and the final attainment. Maybe you need to reject so you can achieve something which we call the final realization. Sometimes you need to shut up all other so you can hear the voice of your angel. Because maybe the voice of your angel is talking to you all time. But the white noise and everything else are so great that you simply cannot hear it. You need to lower it. You need to put attention to something which is already happening to you. Sometimes we need radical cuttings and change. Not because the universe gives us radicality. Quite the contrary. We need that. We choose the path of craziness, madness, neurotical behavior, so in the end everything could and must be destroyed in that way. Uh, sometimes the path of liberation it's called, sometimes it's like the storm. It is all depending on you. How your life is connected with your true nature. Because if you are living, even if you don't know about it, then your life will be totally normal toward your 
performing the ritual and meditating and everything. But you can see in some students that the, the day they took the oath of probationer, their life began to shaken and destroyed from the core until the corridor of their life. That means that something they did, it's not connected with their self. I don't want to say it is a wrong, but you cannot have both. There is only one will. You can call it true will, pure will, or just will. But there is it and there is everything else. You are the one who is choose or, or not what you will do with it. You always have a choice. The question is, will you use that choice? Are you free to free choose? That's the main question, which it's quite difficult to accept. But nevertheless, probationer is free to choose the practice which he will repeat. Nobody sell for what cost. You are the one who need to ask yourself for what cost. If I say to you that by the end of that one year you will reach enlightenment, you will reach the knowledge and conversation with your holy guardian angel, but you need to lose your, your work. You need to lose your family. What about your child? Are you, are you ready to say, okay, universe take everything. I am ready. I am ready to accept for what I am born because the knowledge and conversation, it's your birthright. It is your DNA. You cannot escape from it, even if you want it. Let us say that the ritual of your angel is Liber Samic, and that you want to sit in your asana and to perform anything except Liber Samic. If you want to perform some ritual which don't have anything to do with the ritual, by your angel will come. What will happen if you perform that with your pure intention? So hardly wanted not to invoke your angel, he will still come because the level of the will for anything include your awareness, not the technical way of doing so. You need to be prepared to answer, not to your superior, to yourself. Am I ready to go to this trip? No, if, if this is trip for me, it is. But if you are ready now, because the first step is up to you. But the Great Mother, which is in Binach, above that endlessly and horrific abyss, will for its own child just see it without any aggression. Like babies, when you say to them, don't touch this phone, baby will see your reaction. If you're not doing anything, baby will start to go more and more and the moment the baby touch the phone mother will psh, slap his hands this is the mechanism of binach he will let you go to live in this world to be the actors in the movie which you are not director and the Binach will give you salary and give you the best 
movie roles, but the movie will not be yours. The moment you accept the oath of probationer and officially put yourself on the path, that is officially engaging the war. And in this war, every means and all things are permitted. Your binach will strike you hard. You will increase your grade as binach will increase the pressure. The more closer to the sun you will be, the more pull off to the core, to the earth you will felt. So sometimes when you see that something is happening that is good. For me, the worst thing which can happen is that nothing is happening. Of course, that doesn't mean that your probation is not proper. But you need to think, are you doing everything precisely or you are doing this by the way? By the way, probation, it's not existing. You are stepping on the path without return. You are doing and you are not returning. That is the strategy and the need of your awareness. Only in this way, the AA will transform to the meaning. Without it, what is the AA? So stupid even the name in the beginning, so your nature will don't know where is it coming. Are you going somewhere at all? If you, I'm giving you GPS coordinates without any rational number, then where you will go? So this is precisely what is happening in the AA. You're stepping on the path without knowing where you are going, where you will finish, will you finish, and most of everything, are you be the same when the path finish? Everything will change. Uh, the only rational will which will hold your ship, it's only one thing in the whole AA journey. And that is your diary. That is the writing about your route. And even if you die on the trip, when they recover your path, maybe somebody reach the final realization instead of you. Think that your future magical child will read this. It is not for you. It is for the Dushan in the future. So it can use your failures for his own success. This is the mind mechanism, the attitude which I want to have when you write a diary. Now, if you ask me if I'm writing this in a, in a regular book. No, I'm now writing everything in my electronic version because when I go to traveling and to my vacation, I can only bring my, even my iPhone or tablet and ever, whatever. And plus I can, um, sometimes the drawing, it's much more important than the full words about the right. Sometimes the scratch when I was nervous and feeling the energy which are very aggressive in Martian tape, this kind of uh, energy which are in drawing, it's much better for me to realize after than three pages of, of, of talk. You need to choose the way what you are writing and in which way, but you never need to skip if you are thinking that it will stay in your mind, 
it will not. Precisely how much the great work once were accomplished and now you are not familiar about that moment. Attainment of great work is remembering. But you need to remember something which never happened. That's the trick. So, that was oh, an, uh, an, an hour and a half of my talk. Sorry, I always can, can talk because my, my profession is I'm a professor and I can talk hours and hours not to say anything uh, smart. So, I, I wanted to push you. Uh, to give you some different different energy to 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 give you some another level of uh, emotional um, su uh, suggestion and to give you another fuel for your own journey either if you are probation even if you are uh, some other grade or you are planning to step on this wonderful path uh, be courage, be brave, whatever, be yourself. Uh, don't frighten about anything because nothing is under the control here. So whatever you do, the end, it's totally different than what you will think it will be. Uh, if somebody has some question uh, or something wanted to add or maybe to share it's his own or her own experience. I will be very happy to, to share with you your, your, your some, some impressions. Jane is holding hands, so I think she, she wants to speak. Of course, of course. Uh, I don't know how to let people talk. I hope the moment you start to speak, uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, you, you don't have to let anyone speak, uh, she uh, holds her hand uh, in the app, so you can tell her, okay, Jane. Okay, please. Jane, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you, you, can, you can talk. Ah, yeah. I lower hands. Shit. Um, that was uh, all of the AA conference. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know how. Uh, Max, if you want, you, you can you can you can speak. Hello, Mr. Hello. Hello. My question is about the, the student phase. Uh, recently, we have uh, with artificial intelligence, uh, more and more exams are coming very poorly. So yeah. I'd like to ask, uh, <laughs> what do you look for in the students so you won't be too strict about the intellectual content of the curriculum, but still can see that the person is ready to advance to the promotion of phase? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, thanks God, I am not accepting students. Uh, from the first day in my lineage, in our circle, we all, in the beginning, we give the oath of the probationer, and that was in my country and the place we live. It's quite natural because a uh, lots of people have uh, the knowledge and this preliminary uh, way of uh, thinking with the books and everything so i think the pressure of one year will be enough for those who don't have anything you will see from the very start but in my life i don't have so much students uh, i have them in brazil you know uh, but uh, students studentship it's not the part so much that i can speak unfortunately yes the artificial intelligence, it's something which disturbs anything, but 
let us embrace it as a new moment and let them decide if they wanted artificial intelligence to achieve the knowledge and conversation with their angel maybe it's their way and you should not uh, stop them to do that you need to be clever uh, I am the old guy and um, my way of teaching was maybe overcome maybe it's time to change that I'm not against it but I will not know how to deal with that level uh, of a professional computer uh, doing everything and this is precisely why I like I like uh, personal contact with my students uh, minimum once per few weeks or once per month to see her on, or him and to talk with him and to see everything it's clear when you look them in the eyes eyes tell everything so this is precisely why I am against so much with the student and superior when they are so much apart if that is inevitable then okay but I always try and ask my students if even if they are somewhere outside to see them to feel them to talk with them uh, cameras now and everything it's great help but the living energy and live talk it's something which for now don't have any uh, any radical substitution is there anything else the Jane Jane wanted to speak I don't don't hear you hear or see her yeah so I was very uh, pleased to talk with you we don't have so much time it is very difficult in this short time to to give you enough think and food thought and not to interrupt your free time so you can have some knowledge and the feeling about the AA my job was not to teach you but to push you uh, like the eagles when teaching young eagles to fly they don't talk to them they just push them from the cliff and they fly so now you need to fly I wish you all well if you have some questions you have my emails I will just write uh, that email so you can have uh, sorry you can write me anytime uh, mostly I'm responding very soon sometimes due to my family life and my travelings but there is no way I will I will not reply whatever you want if you s seek some advice some book recommendation whatever you can check my blog from time to time I, I publish some things some books and etc etc next time I think in autumn uh, I I'm preparing the talk about Enochian magic and of course the lucid dreaming once again which you can find on YouTube everything is free uh, my English is not so well but I hope you can understand my my essence and the point which I wanted to speak in this way there is it is impossible to speak in another language abstract term uh, which are very very difficult to speak even in my own language so excuse me for um, some misunderstanding and, and wrongly pronunciation of the words um, I wish you all good stay safe be good I have uh, lots of good plans for the summer I wish you well uh, and see you and talk to you in some some other form other life and other time thank you very much you was very patient and very very good audience thank you i love you very much uh, thank you so much hey, great. yeah bye bye